So in this new mini series, I'm going to try to create uh, some of the popular layouts that you can see around the web using the CSS grid. So we are going to back to the CSS grid again. And in the next few episodes, I'm just going to show you how you can make some of the popular layouts that you can see on other web pages. So one of those layouts is going to be this one. We are going to do this in this episode. So we're going to have a header sidebar. We're going to have these cards right here with one big card and a footer. As you can see, nothing too complicated, but you will see that using CSS grid, this is actually going to be very, very simple to make as opposed to maybe using something like Flexbox or even floats. Okay, so first of all, let's just create a container for our divs, uh, for actually our layout. Okay, and now in that container, we are going to have a header. Okay, and in the header, uh, 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 actually after header, we are going to have a main. So this is going to be our main content. Uh, and that main content is going to consist of nine divs with the ID, uh, with the class of cards, card, and it's going to have some lorem ipsum text in it. So I'm going to use Emmet to create this. and it's going to repeat itself nine times. Okay, so now we have this. Of course, I forgot the sidebar. So, sidebar. Okay, and now we just have to create a footer. Okay, now if we take a look at our page, this is how it looks. Now we just have to go into our uh, code editor and create the layout we want with CSS. So first of all, I'm just going to define our container and it's going to be width of 1024 pixels and it's going to display grid. Okay, now if I save this, of course, nothing actually happened. You just see these little spaces right here, but nothing actually uh, happened. Uh, also, we want to set the margin. To be zero and auto so that our layout is at the middle of our page. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to define how our divs are supposed to display. So it's going to be gray color and it's going to have a padding of 20 pixels. And I'm also going to say that every other div is going to be a slightly lighter grayish color. Okay, now if we take a look at our page, it looks like this. So these are our divs, this is our header, this is our footer. So for header and footer, I'm also going to set up some styling. Okay, now this is our header, this is our footer, we have the styling. Now let's uh, play around with this grid. So now we are going to uh, go to our CSS and play around with the grid so that we can get the layout we want. 
as you can see I'm actually using Firefox for this and this is because Firefox has a grid inspector so while we are doing this I, I will be able to show you the actual grid and explain what is actually going on so if I do this and uh, click on this container so it has a grid on it you can click this little uh, icon right here this grid icon and now it shows you the grid so first of all I'm just going to set a grid gap of 20 pixels so I can as you can see now now we have uh, this track right here and this track right here and this right here so these are uh, the uh, gaps between our elements so we have a header footer and so on so we still didn't define how uh, many columns and rows our grid should actually have so to do that i'm going to set it up like this so grid tape template columns is going to be one fraction and three fractions so it's going to be a one third and two thirds actually uh, when we display it so one fr and three fr so it's going to have actually two columns so if we check out our page right now you can see that we have this is a header and this is a sidebar so this is not very good and then we have our main content right here and then we have a footer so this is going to uh, take one of the fraction of this whole space and this is going to take three fractions of this whole space you can also of course use percentages right here or whatever you want even pixels so as you can see this doesn't look very good because we want the header to be full uh, width right here and also the footer is also should be full width right here so how do we do that well uh, you have uh, something called grid column start and grid column end and also you have grid row start and grid row end so we do header and we can write grid column start one so it's going to start at the column number one and it's going to end at the uh, column number four actually three let's just try it three okay so if I turn off this grid you you will probably see it better so as you can see now we have a header right here and I told it uh, to stop at the uh, column number three so actually these are not columns but something called tracks and uh, the way you will calculate tracks so this line right here this is the first track one uh, this is the second track two and this is the third track so three so I told it start at the column number one and end at the column number three and then we get this but you can uh, also write span so something similar to what you would have when uh, dealing with tables you would have call spans and row spans so i could have easily written span two right here and we will get the same result as you can see nothing has changed uh, with our header is still up here but also instead of writing grid column start grid column end uh, we can comment that out and instead of that we have a shorthand which is just grid column and now you would say I want to start at the column number one and span two or even you can just write three so if you do that we still get the same thing so this is the shorthand for that uh, also you have a grid uh, row start and grid row end and in you have a shorthand called just grid row and you would use it the same as you would do with the grid column okay next thing I want to do I want to uh, set this footer to do the same thing so 
which is we can just create footer actually why am I doing this this way I can just copy this command right here and just paste it here so because uh, both header and footer are going to be the full width so we don't even need this so if I save it and now ref when the page refreshes if I turn off the grid as you can see we get this header sidebar our content and footer as you can see super easy pretty easy and uh, we are nearly done with our layout next thing we just need to lay out this right here remember main is the item of our our main grid actually our uh, container grid so we need to create another grid inside of main so to do that i'm just going to go right here main display grid uh, next thing for the main uh, we are going to have three columns and uh, we are going to have three rows so to do that you just do grid template columns and now since we are going to have three columns so the first column is going to be one fraction uh, the second column is going to be one fraction and the third column is going to be one fraction so uh, maybe I forgot to mention that right here so however columns you want to have you can uh, you just define them right here if I set another one FR then I'm going to have four columns so uh, CSS grid automatically knows this so it's not going to be more than uh, for uh, three columns and now we have to display our rows so to do that grid template rows and now you don't even have to write one fraction one fraction one fraction you can even do something like repeat repeat so we are going to have three rows three rows and the height of those rows is going to be you can also use of course fractions or percentages or pixels but I'm going to set them to be auto because I want those uh, blocks or those cards uh, to be the width uh, the height of the content that is in them so if I just save this and go right here as you can see we get uh, three three columns actually three columns and three rows okay so let's just set up grid gap right here okay with 20 pixels so we can see it better so this is our grid uh, and as, as you can see the way the grid inspector works currently it is showing us our container grid but if we want to say uh, if we want to see the grid of the main content then we have to select it so we have a main right here and then click on the grid icon so now we have this grid right here so next thing we want to do is we want to uh, take this first grid item and make it so that is uh, it is span over two uh, two uh, two cells or two columns and two rows okay so that's the better explanation so we want to take the first uh, grid item and span it over two columns and two rows so it's going to take up this space so how do we do that so I'm just going to go right here and say div first child so that is going to be the first div and now I'm just going to say grid column so remember this is the shorthand for grid column start grid column end and I want to start at the column number one and I want to end it uh, at column number three so let's just count it one so this is the first one second one third one so I want to end it here okay 
3. Let's see what we get. Okay, if I turn off the grid, as you can see, now this is uh, spanned over two grid items or two columns. And next thing I want to do is uh, span it across two rows. So the same thing, grid row. We want to start at one and end at three again. So let's count it. One, so this is the first line, two, three. Okay, so three. Save it. And now we get our layout. So it took us about, what, 15 minutes, but the, the 15 minutes is with explanation. Once you know this stuff, I believe you can create the kind, this kind of layout in about, I don't know, five minutes. So grid is very, very cool. Okay, guys, so this has been it for this video. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you want to ask me questions, you can do that uh, via GitHub, Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. Uh, also, of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you like the content I put out. And if you want to send some money my way, you can do the uh, you can use the Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.